Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Owen. The channel that brings you your team every single day, as well as obviously breaking news, rumours, speculation, stories, updates, club statements, everything here on Glasgow Rangers Nation. Well, the next summer transfer saga, because we had the Butland saga, didn't we? We had the Butland saga from way back, even when the season hadn't ended. Is he coming? Is he not coming? It's hit a hitch. It hasn't hit a hitch. It's coming. The wages are too high. The wages are not. The wages are okay. Blah, 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 blah. It just seemed to f go up and down, didn't it? And all over the place. Now, the Cifuentes saga is on. It just seems that we can't have just a straightforward, you know, transfer sign transfer rumor sign we have to have a saga we love a saga here in glasgow don't we we love a we love a good saga and it appears this latest saga obviously surrounding um jose cifuentes could well be coming to an end now obviously where is this all coming from where is this story emanating from well according to um an ecuadorian journalist and ecuadorian news outlets the cifuentes saga is reportedly coming towards a close um, a journalist who is called Matteo Arteda is the chief architect of these stories. Um, that he is now saying that uh, Rangers are willing to pay up to uh, £1.5 million to secure the services of Jose Cifuentes before, obviously, he'll be available for a free in January. Um, but it is highly doubtful that Cifuentes would last until January in terms of not being picked up by another team, especially with rumours around uh, regarding Brighton and Hove Albion uh, of the English Premier League. Now, some people may say, well, why go to Rangers over Brighton and Hove Albion? Well, other than obviously the fact that Rangers are a million times bigger than Brighton and Hove Albion, a uh, million times more successful than Brighton and Hove Albion, and obviously, as we all know, a million times better than Brighton and Hove Albion. Um, it's thought that the law of European football, the, obviously the chances Rangers have of getting into the Champions League, as well as obviously the chances to actually win trophies, which obviously is not the case at Brighton, would be, um, is the major law for Jose Cifuentes. So, According to the Ecuadorian media, according to a number of other media outlets across Europe, uh, mainland Europe, this weekend, they are saying that Rangers are ready to secure the 1.5 million transfer of Jose Cifuentes. Um, obviously, then that would come on the back of the signing of Sam Lammers. This just this last week would make um, that would make Jose Cifuentes the fifth arrival this summer with the reports of you know still more to come obviously Dessas is out there as well that could be six you know there could be a great number there could be a couple more actually come through the door this week um it does look according to the media um uh, that uh Cifuentes is going to be the next signing for Rangers um Michael Beale wants to get the Ecuadorian midfielder into the club as soon as possible and wants him in ahead of pre-season to obviously get him to acclimatize to football in the United Kingdom football in Scotland obviously which will be a difference from what he has experienced in the United States of America uh it is said the deal could cost up to 1.5 million um it's thought there may be an initial fee with an obviously rising depending on appearances and other criteria being met. Um, obviously, this is a big thing. Now, what is fueling these rumours? Well, what the, the major thing fueling these rumours is that Cifuentes was apparently called away from his team um, uh, from the his team group on Wednesday and was missing from the game and missing from the match day squad for their last game against Houston Dynamo. What a name, Houston Dynamo. Um, According to um, the media over there, this is a sign that, that he was recalled apparently to the club to negotiate and to clarify the final terms on a possible transfer to Glasgow and to Rangers um, that, uh, and an agreement on that 1.5 million fee. Now, it's already been reported in media and a number of other media sources right across Europe and obviously in the States and also in Ecuador, that uh, one a one point five uh, that one point five million transfer is also been backed up by the fact that Cifuentes has already agreed personal terms. A rumor that is very strong at this moment in time. Uh, Cifuentes obviously now is looking highly likely to be the next signing through the door um, when Rangers are so getting ready, obviously for pre season, and obviously for when Rangers kick off the season in August. He is. A very very good player he is someone who is going to be a very smart very good quality 
addition to the Rangers squad. Um, he does have a very, you know, he has a clear style. He's a box to box. He's creative. He can tackle. He has a cutting edge to him. He has, he is, you know, a quality, quality player and has proved that. He's full of energy, full of dynamism. Um, got good in invention as well. He's someone obviously I think could link with Todd Cantwell and be a very effective in, you know, creating chances for Sam Lammers and uh, Kamar Roof, Antonio Cholak if he remains at the club and possibly obviously Cyril Desez, um as well. Um, you know, Michael Beal does need a bit more of that creative influence going forward. Obviously, Todd Cantwell is there. Kieran Dowell is obviously going to be there. Yanis Hadji probably as well. But the more creation you have, the more options you have, the better for you as a manager. Um, now, LAFC apparently lost 1-0 to Houston Dynamo and did miss Cifuentes. Um, you know, he, he was... a. a a glaring, a glaring hole in their team, according to the rumours. Cifuentes, so obviously pictured here, it is a good quality player. He is someone who actually, who, who a summer or so ago was actually rumoured to be, you know, worth far more than the one point five million when he was under contract and still had time to run. You know, he was. It was being rumoured that he was worth anything six and fifteen million pounds. A really good quality player. Um, you know, it's felt that Cifuentes could be the man to provide that extra bit of spark alongside the likes of Todd Cantwell and Nicholas Raskin, who have both obviously done fantastic since coming to the club. It's hoped that uh, Cifuentes, you know, when he arrives, is going to be, um, you know, someone who has a, a swift settling in period and is ready to go um, for the start of obviously those preseason friendlies against the likes of Newcastle, um, Hamburg and, TS and TSG Hoffenheim ahead of obviously playing in that uh, in those season openers and getting the season underway in August and being ready for those Champions League qualifiers as well. So it does look like, according to a number of media reports, this Cifuentes saga is ready to come to an end. And Cifuentes, hopefully, um, within the next sort of week to 10 days, will be signing on the dotted line and arriving at Ibrox. It would be a quality fit signing for the club and a real good addition and a real clear signal, I think, to to that lot from across the city that they are not going to have it all their own way next season. And this is going to be a keenly fought title race. Um, obviously, they're undergoing their own period of uh, upheaval um, as they look to reappoint former manager Brendan Rodgers, um, who's not someone who impresses me in the slightest. Well, that's good, Rangers Nation. Let me know what you think of this saga. Hopefully, it's coming to an end. Thank you so much again for choosing to watch Glasgow Rangers Nation. Guys, the channel is doing so well. Thanks to your phenomenal phenomenal support please hit that sub ring that notification bell if you haven't already done so if you've like, enjoyed the content give me a like hit the like um and go back and watch some of the other content as well and remember you can also join the channel for as little as 99p less than a cup of coffee the join button is down below or go back to the channel homepage, find the join button on there after you have subscribed to the channel and guys always remember and never forget we are the people